Hi everyone, this is Sriraj and welcome to the chapter 2 of our HTML CSS for beginners series. So in this chapter we will be discussing something more about CSS. So I will be showing how to design some shapes like square, circle or ring using HTML and CSS. So we will be diving more deep into CSS. In the chapter 1 we have done few things like creating our index.html file as well as the style.css file. Also I have told you about the head tag, body tag and we have a hello world content here. Also we have styled using the CSS file, style.css. We have given red color for the text as well as background as sky blue. So next quickly we are gonna see how to draw a square using the HTML CSS. So for that I am clearing this text and initially I am creating a div. I am creating a div using the div tag. I am opening a div and I am closing a div. So currently I have a div and I am saving it, Control S and I am reloading. So you can see nothing appears here because I have removed the hello world text. And so here for this we will be showing a square. For just reference I am typing a text as div content shape 1. For just showing you that the div has come, yeah our shape 1 has come here. So here I am removing the red color, it's no longer needed, I am removing the red color in the body and see, so it's a black color by default, HTML black color has come. So here we have a div, so in this div we are going to make it a square. So let's see how to make this div a square using the CSS. So initially I am giving a CSS class name here, so for that I am giving an attribute class. And the name of the class I am giving as square. So you can give any name. I am just giving square for making it more meaningful. Here I have given class name square for this div. And I am hitting save. So I am reloading. Nothing happens here. Okay. Now let's do the magic. I am coming to style.css. And here I am going to define this square class. Uh, this is a CSS class name. We are giving as a property for this div html element. Div is an html element, class is an attribute or property for this html element. So we have given a CSS class name as square. So now we have to define the square inside the style.css. So here I am coming little bit down and I am defining the class name. So for defining the class name we have to start with the dot and class name. Square is the, our class name. I am opening the curly brackets. So here basically we are going to design a square using CSS. So initially I have to give the height. So I am giving a height of 100 pixels and then a width of uh, 100 pixels. So it will become equal height and width uh, to form a square shape. And next I am giving a background. So I am background I am giving as uh, uh, red color. Okay. So now let's refresh the page. You can see a square has come here. So we simply designed a square using CSS. We have given a height 100 pixel, a width 100 pixel and a background color as red. We no longer need this text so I will be just removing. This is given just for reference. I am removing this. So this is an empty div tag with a class name square. So the class is defined as properties for designing a square. So I am reloading the page and shape is removed. So now we have a square here. Okay, this is how easily we can draw a square shape using CSS. So next I am going to show you how to draw a circle, circle using CSS. So for that I am creating another div and we have to close the div and next I am giving a class name, another class name. So class name will be circle. So now I have defined the second div with class name circle. So next I have to uh, give more details about the circle in the style.css. I'm going to style. So before that let's save and refresh. So nothing happens here. I will give a simple name for making it meaningful. And if I reload you can see it is coming. So the div is coming just below the uh, square. So this is a circle. So uh, let's style and make it uh, visible. So I'll define the circle class here. So we are using the name which we have given in the div here we have given circle so we are using circle class here. Since it's a class name we are giving a dot uh, just before the name. So here it's a tag it's a body tag so we don't need a dot here. So for class name we need a dot here. 
okay so i need to give the height height i am giving as 100 pixel okay then width uh, also 100 pixel i am giving and i am giving a color this time i am giving green color okay now let's now let's see uh, what's the result so uh, i have done a mistake so color will change the text color only we have to give the background here so i am giving the background color as green and now let's see so we have two squares now this is a red square and a green square so i will show how to make this square a circle so before that i am just removing this text this text is no longer needed i'm just reloading now we have two squares red square and green square so this green square i am changing into a circle for that just give border radius there is a CSS property called border radius so here it has given the suggestion you can see border radius just selecting that I'm giving that as 100 percentage so what this basically does is like it will put a radius in the corners so it will change to a circle just refresh you can see circle has come green square has now turned into a circle okay uh, it's so easy right so if I, if we want some gap in between uh, we can add some margin i'm giving a margin here margin of 100 pixels so i can get some gap so you can see left side a gap right top side also gap right side and bottom also gap so we can see it. now it's having some distance between both the shapes so next uh, we are we gonna draw another shape this time i am showing a, a ring how to draw a ring so for that i am quickly copy pasting this uh, div for saving the time and i am giving it as ring so th next we are going to draw a ring okay now i will save and reload nothing will come because we haven't defined the css for ring so let's define the ring class name and i am giving a height height of 100 pixels this time i will giving 150 pixels and uh, width also you can give any size as you wish i'm giving 150 pixel and i am changing the background to white i'm giving background as white same code of circle we can repeat i'm giving a border radius of 100 percentage so we'll get another circle here now you can see we have got another circle we have a square red square a green circle and another white circle since uh, we have given a margin of 100 pixel for the circle it will have a gap here okay now let's make this a ring we don't need a uh, circle uh, we need a ring here so for making this circle a ring uh, i will give border for this border css property and initially border size i am giving 10 pixel as border size and border will be of uh, solid type and i'm giving a border color as uh, brown okay now if i hit save you can see now our circle has got a border so our white circle has got a brown border now so uh, we no longer need this background i'm just removing the background so it will turn into a ring okay i'm hitting the save and refreshing you can see we have successfully drawn our ring here so now we have got a square a circle and a ring so these are the properties defined for css of a square css of the circle and css of a ring so for that we have defined a div for each of them and given class name respectively and define the class name in inside the style.css file so this is how easily we can draw a square using uh, css as well as a circle as well as a ring for getting the ring i have given the border 10 pixel solid and brown so if i give as dotted you can see uh, this ring will turn into a dotted ring okay so let it be solid as of now so that's how easily we can draw shapes using html and css uh, learning these basic things is very important for a as far as a front end developer is concerned so if you wish to become a successful front end developer you should have very good expert knowledge in css okay that's all in this video so we learned how to create uh, three shapes so i am giving an assignment for you you can just try out this uh, code and also you can build another assignment so here is the assignment for you you have to initially create an orange circle 
a rectangle shape uh, with red color and a ring uh, using black color and a gray color square so these four shapes you have to try by creating a new HTML project in the chapter 1 I have shown you how to set up a project and connect the HTML and CSS files so in this chapter we just learned how to draw shapes using HTML and CSS so in this chapter we more focused into uh, CSS coding so hope you got some idea about uh, height width background and border radius CSS properties as well as margin and also uh, the border property with uh, solid color and size okay so you try to design this uh, shapes uh, your shape may come uh, one by one in downwards direction no problem so in the chapter 3 I will explain you how to make these shapes in a straight line also I will be showing for this also I will show how to make this in a straight line so hope you guys enjoyed this video do like share and subscribe this is Sriraj Melat signing off